happy new year for everybody that hasn't uh, caught a fish yet, like me. Uh, let's hope it comes soon. Today we're going to be talking about the giant sand shark, also known as a Sandy and Natal. We don't really get them further south, so the guys down there don't call it anything. Um, or guitar fish. Now, scientific name Rhynchobatus jadensis, quite a tongue twister. Um, dates back to ancient Arabic words, but basically just meaning guitar fish. So, this is my absolute favorite species. They are not only beautiful fish, they've got a very, very nice white stomach and then a dark top to them. They also have these very gnarly little horns that run along their back in three rows. They have the most incredible looking eye. You can see I've got a bit of a soft spot for them. And they are very, very, very strong fighting fish. They just keep going, they don't give up right to the end. And most of the places that you catch them have that steep little lip on the shore break. So actually getting that sandy over that lip and getting someone to be able to land it or get their hands on it is quite difficult right at the end, especially after about two hours of fighting or so. Now, getting your hands on it's one thing, actually being able to pull it out is another. Because it's the most comical thing watching a 100 kilogram plus man grab onto a sandy and get flicked onto his bum in the, in the shore break. But yeah, in terms of sizes, um, they get to over three meters in length and they're reported to be over 200 kilos but rarely are you ever going to catch one over 100. There are a few caught every year um, that are just over that 100 mark but in terms of anything over 120, very very rare to catch and a real fish of a lifetime. They, what they feed on, because their mouth is underneath them, they've got their, their head shaped like that, their mouth sits underneath, obviously feeding on anything on the bottom. They've got these big crushing plates in their mouth. That, that's where you hold them when you pull them back in. They're looking for stuff with hard shells generally. So your bivalves, like mussels, that kind of thing, your crustaceans, crabs, crayfish. And then of course they do um, feed off any scraps that are on the bottom. So when it comes to choosing your baits, uh, my favorite bait, my recommendation is a mackerel head within red eye cutlets around. If you're sliding a bait, a whole mackerel with a red eye chopped in half, split on the outside. Or something like a body head works very well. A whole crayfish works incredibly well. Um, and then any fleshy bait. So similar to the baits that you'd use for a diamond, but just scaled down a bit of smaller size because their mouth is smaller. Uh, they mature at 1.2 meters for the females and 1.2 meters for the males and 1.7 meters for the females. So like a lot of other species, the males are eager to mature a bit quicker. Um, they're born at about 60 centimeters and they're four pups in a litter. So they actually have live birth and they birth four small 60 centimeter pups. Um, in terms of dangerousness, those little spikes in their head are not really going to harm you at all. Uh, the mouth, they can, they can crush shells and things like that, but they're not going to hurt your hand. Um, they're actually a very inquisitive species. If you dive, you'll find they come up to you. And they do extremely well in aquariums. So if you go to any of the aquariums around that have them, Ushaka being of course the closest one to us, you can see them swimming around and they'll do well for many, many years. Okay, in terms of when to target, much like a lot of the summer species here in KZN, you're gonna wait for that perfect day, three days of northeast, and on the third day, or even the fourth if it's blowing that far, that's the exact day you wanna fish it. Ideally, you want flattish seas, not completely calm, we want a bit of movement, but you don't want big crunching surf, because that then pushes sand up, gets into the gills that don't enjoy that. Um, three days northeast, and as hot as it can be. So Zululand, famous for the extremely hot weather, is really the time when you get those three days northeast, and that hot weather, 27, 28 plus, is really when you wanna go targeting them. Um, similar areas to your honeycombs that you're going to be targeting, banks on the edges of banks and especially riptides that go out on the edge of that, that gap. Um, and then yeah, just placing your bait in the right spot and then waiting for him to pull. It's quite a long bite. He doesn't generally just pick it up and floor it. You'll feel him swim into the line and he'll, he'll bump you down like that. And he often struggles because he's swimming around. His eyes are on the top, mouth at the bottom. He can't always see where the bait is. So he tries to put himself over the bait. Uh, similar to other, other fish, you don't want to have uh, sharp grapnel spikes if possible. If you are sliding, you can't get around it. But ideally a cone sinker so he doesn't feel those spikes when he's coming and looking for the bait. And then, yeah, the, the different methods. Grinder fishing has really taken over. So in terms of targeting them on that, you want a big strong setup like the honeycombs, like the diamonds. 
uh, Saltus Delete, my preferred weapon, the 15 foot to be exact, and then an 8000 Daiwa Saltus on there with 50 pound Daiwa J-Brake, just perfect, you'll get him out in no time. And on the multiplying side, if you still prefer multiplier, throwing a bait with that or sliding, you're going to look at a fairly heavy stout rod. So my recommendation, Daiwa Saltus 14.23 HB, in other words the 69 ounce. And to that, if you can afford a Saltigo, very well done. If you can't, then Daiwa Saltus is going to get the job done. It's got the carbon text washers, everything you need. That's in the 50H size. And to there, you have to put backing. 600 meters of, uh, of braid backing of some sort, otherwise you will get stripped. And then 0 0.5, 0 0.55 on the top. That will be perfect for, perfect for anything you need. So yeah, if you haven't opened your summer account yet, this is a brilliant fish to try and do it with. And yeah, go out and enjoy it, guys.